Okay. I'm filming another video and I dyed and cut my hair. Hmm. I don't love it. <laughs> I'm not not super satisfied. I don't know what to do with my hair. Doesn't matter, it happens. It will grow out and maybe wash itself out. And for now, I'm just gonna wear my hair strangely and messily and potentially make some sounds. Let's see. Okay. I've now decided to remove my hair from the equation <laughs> because it was annoying me. And I'm gonna read a little bit. Uh, yeah. And to answer the question, do robots have souls? That James K. White asks in Philosophy Now in his article, The Bell for the Robot Souls. Hmm. Um, he writes, Using the robot as a point of analysis, I want to assess how religion and philosophy have shaped the cultural perception of robot technology. I will compare Japan and the West and try to answer the question, do robots have souls? I believe that focusing on well-known robots in pop culture is the best way to analyze the subject, because the media reveal our hopes and fears. And he compares Western ethics and Japanese ethics, and no, Western culture and Japanese culture and media. Western ethics is founded on placing humans above all other life, above all other organic life. Even as traditional religious values were scrutinized, philosophers such as Jean-Jacques Rousseau romanticized the natural world. Rousseau believed that society has an inherently corrupting influence on humanity, that the natural is inherently superior to the artificial, and that humanity is better than both. Frankenstein's monster is an unnatural abomination of mismatched body parts, lightning and dark science. Unsurprisingly, the creature turns on its creator and both have an existential crisis. In this, Japanese culture differs greatly from the, the West. With a society founded on Shintoism and Buddhism, the Judeo-Christian hierarchical attitude to nature is absent. In Japanese spirituality, there is still an emphasis on the natural but it incorporates all forms of life. In Shinto, plants, nature, man, kami, which is God, and machines all possess the natural spiritual essence. This idea is generally referred to as animism. Mm -hmm. This belief is best exemplified for us through certain yokai supernatural Shinto spirits of Japanese folklore who exist alongside humans, sometimes as transformations of everyday objects. In his book, An Introduction to Yokai Culture, Monsters, Ghosts and Outsiders in Japanese History, Anthropologist Kazuhiko Kumatsu writes how any object 
lasting for a hundred years, acquires a yokai spirit. This can be anything from umbrellas to sandals to crockery and even dish rags. All of these can have a spiritual presence. Oh, I can't. After some mixing. Seven hearts. Japanese belief provides a means of rationalizing the robot as part of nature. Acceptance of the machine is evident in Japanese culture. Now there is even a robot monk, Minda, Minda, designed to recite Buddhist sermons and installed at the Kodaishi temple in Kyoto. For more on Japan's complicated love affair with robots, see historian Yuji Sona's book, Japanese Robot Culture, Performance, Imagination and Modernity. In Japan, it is widely held that we are defined by how we interact with other entities. The human may be defined by the non-human. Little dancing turtle with a little baby turtle on its back maybe you can see and it can move all of its outer parts it can make circles Whoa. <laughs> and it's a really cute little figure and it sounds nice too that looks a little special, that sounds like. 